Hi everyone, I'm Katia and today I'm sharing a fun science fiction murder mystery novel that I read in just one weekend. At 464 pages long, Mer Lafferty's Station Eternity marks a brilliant beginning to her new The Mid-Solar Murders series. I am struggling to say that. Anyway, showcasing her talent for melding science fiction's vastness with the intricacies of a closed room murder mystery plot. Now, Lafferty is already a popular figure in the world of speculative fiction, although new to me, though. Um, renowned for her versatility and creativity across various platforms, an author, podcast, and editor, Lafferty has carved out a unique niche within the science fiction and fantasy genres. And her work is celebrated for imaginative storytelling, compelling character development, and the seamless blend of humor and depth, which she infuses Station Eternity with. Um, blending humor, depth, imaginative flair, and creating a narrative that captivated me from start to finish. The name of the series as well, being the Mid-Solar Murder series, is not so subtle a nod to the TV series The Mid-Summer Murders, about an English village with an unusually high body count. In that series, the rate of murders to imagined population count is off the charts. And I think Lafferty is promising readers a really similar destiny for the space station eternity. Now we are instantly introduced to Mallory Viridian, an intriguing and relatable character. Relatable in a lot of ways except the main one. She has an uncanny knack for becoming embroiled in murder mysteries. Similar to how Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote seemed to be at the wrong place at the right time always there when a murder occurs or um, around uh, the neighborhood. Unlike Jessica Fletcher, however, who appears oddly comfortable in such scenarios and merely accepts invitation after invitation to go along to these large parties, all the while knowing that bodies drop when she's around. Mallory is burdened by guilt and confusion over her uncanny predicament and her knack for attracting murderers or causing murders to happen around her. So they have very, very different vibes, Jessica and Mallory. Also, they have very different relationships with law enforcement. Um, yeah, but I won't say much about that. Let's just say Mallory decides she can't take it anymore. She would like to have refuge. And she has this idea to ask a sentient uh, space station eternity to let her stay there. Um, Station Eternity does not want humans on board. It's only begrudgingly accepted a human ambassador um, and didn't want visitors. But then it allows Mallory and then sooner than Mallory or the ambassador has been asking for the station to let humans come on board, much, much sooner than either one of them thought, it says, I would like human space tourists. <laughs> and this is where the story really starts and throws everything into this classic murder mystery structure. What sets Station Eternity apart is Lafferty's adept balance between serious thematic explorations such as uh, Mallory's isolation and yearning for belonging and the comedic gold of interspecies um, interactions. Now, th the species, there's loads of them. Uh, but for me, the favorite one is one that reminded me of Terry Pratchett's Discworld Trolls. It adds layers of complexity and charm to the story's diverse cast. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say more. The character of Adrian, the, oh, I am so much more superior than any other human ambassador, who begrudgingly accepts accepts Mallory's presence on the station, just provides this funny, um, dramatic, interpersonal um, interaction between them. And it's a testament of the author's ability to provide uh, complex characters as well as uh, a real hook in terms of the murder mystery. That, and we don't just stay on the station. Uh, we've got flashbacks. So Mallory has these memories and takes us back to idyllic towns on Earth, US military bases, and the, at times, claustrophobic confines of a space station. All of those mirror Mallory's state of mind as she's thinking back on certain things and as we delve deeper into the story. So although primarily a murder mystery, it also incorporates science fiction as a foundation and has hints of space opera, teasing us with the idea of the political maneuverings of Earth and alien species, 
just not on a grandiose scale like you would have in a typical uh, space opera. It hints at uh, the future exploration of other worlds, but at the moment focuses on Earth and eternity. The presence of complex characters, advanced technology, sentient space station, and all of that shows the underpinning of the story as science fiction, but it does lack the epic space battles that you'd expect for space opera. All in all, Station Eternity is an engaging start to what promises to be a captivating series. It is a must read for fans of Mo Lafferty or people like me who are new to her writing, but appreciate a novel that combines science fiction, murder mystery, and a good dose of humor. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Picked up book number two already, can't wait to dive into it. And I've signed up for Lafferty's podcast, which is called I Should Be Writing. I've linked that in the video description in case you want to follow along as well. What are your thoughts? Does the blend of science fiction and murder mystery intrigue you? Have you encountered any other books that mix these genres so effectively? And if you do know of those, let me know because I would like to dive into them when I have time. I'll just add them to my huge TBR at the moment. That's it. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to your thoughts in the comments. Take care. Bye.